I'm in the same clothes because it's the same day. I am not able to film a video on Christmas Eve, so I'm having to do it on the 23rd. So for Vintage Vlogmas Day 25 Christmas Day, we're going to do a really quick shopping trip through the Factory Antique Mall, the largest antique mall in America, and we're gonna see what we can find. So I'm starting at the front, and the first thing I'm gonna do is check out all of the booths that I love and go to often. So first up is Eclectables with Debbie, and we're gonna see what she's got. Ooh, we're gonna make a little detour on the way to Deb's booth. Look at this hall tree. That's beautiful. I love that. It's, is that Eastlake style? I think it is. Sorry, the tag's not focusing, but it's 425 and I absolutely love it. So I'm turning back around because this caught my eye. I like this sweater. Is there a tag? Well, let's see the back tag. Oh, no wonder I like this sweater. <laughs> it's wool rich. After some digging, I finally found it. So Indian wool jacket and it is $144.50. That is adorable. I love the design and the pattern on it and I bet it's super warm. If you ever come to the Factory Antique Mall, they have little maps up at the front and they also have streets on the floor and on the ceiling. You can find a place by looking up the street on the map. Also, sometimes dealers will put it on their business cards, but this is Eclectables. This is Debbie's booth and she's got just so much good stuff. She's got a huge space too. So she has this space and then she actually has this over here. Look at this cabinet. Oh my gosh. I guess it's more of a wardrobe, but that is beautiful. I love that. And she's got $4.99 on it, early wardrobe with two drawers. It's gorgeous. <gasps> Look at these bowls. <laughs> Ceramic bowls, $6 each. I'm guessing this is old restaurant wear. And there's four of them. And she also has this huge ironstone wash basin that it's sitting in for $35. I've seen what is it, salesman's models of furniture before, but I've never seen this. This tag says, early handmade child's hutch. And it's a cute little size, probably around four feet tall. That's so interesting. Can you open it? Oh yeah, you can. I feel like this would look really great in a bathroom. Look at that trophy. Oh, it's got a base from Norfolk, Virginia. National Championship Award for the sale of warm air furnaces from 1962 is the date. 37 for the trophy. Not a bad price at all. Ooh, and a very interesting basket. Huh. Large basket with lid, 135. Now let's go check out Diane's booth. She's got a lot of high-end antiques and vintage. Hey, how Hi, doing? how are you? On my way to Diane's booth, I stumbled across these. Planner Swan Indoor Outdoor. Ooh, 20 a piece. That's a great price, okay. This is the start to Diane's booth. Come around here. All of this is hers. So much goodness. Look at these pillows. Oh my gosh. Sorry, the fan is on. Lumbar pillow made from antique oriental rugs for 56. That is really nice. And she's got a whole variety of them. I really like the colors on this one. 49, so it's all of this too. Like that sign. Is 49. Now we gotta go check out my favorite booth in this entire antique mall, the Jolly Roger, owned by Merville. There's always something incredibly unique. And I know he just did some rearranging, so this is gonna look really cool. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Like you can just tell nothing but unique treasures stuffed into this place. 
Merry Christmas, honey. Sofa Chesterfield. Let's see, sixteen fifty. Which, yep, these are not cheap, and they're great couches. I like this lamp. Twenty dollars round glass base. <laughs> oh no. This is such a cute antique photo. How much is she? Photograph of Harry Potter. <laughs> For seven bucks? Oh no. If you're wondering, yes, that is a wicker casket, but I'm sure it's just gently used and he has 650 on it. I need to get a case, man. These cases are so cool looking. I need to get a few. He's got a lot of great cases. Signed. Three handmade mugs for 12 bucks. Really cute. I like the handle on them. It's hard to tell behind this stuff, but there's this beautiful desk back here with drawers and it's, let's see, 195 steel and wood desk it's not bad either unfortunately i'm not seeing a price tag anywhere but look at this old doctor's lamp i'm guessing that's what it is or dentist lamp really amazing unique piece of lighting that you could probably put in your house well that's funky <laughs> Turkey feet for 48. This is really a nice piece. Large water buck skull for 495. And then you have these lifesavers, which southbound lifesaver for 80. Okay. And then this one is uh 50. Okay. So those are really cool if you want to do a nautical theme room or if you have a beach house. Some of the biggest crocs I've ever seen in my life. This is a 30 gallon croc for 265. And this is a 15 gallon croc for 95. Dang. Look at the table. Just all his stuff just makes me go, wow. An adjustable operation table for $3.95. Like, where are you gonna find that? He's just got the wildest stuff. I think the reason why I love his stuff so much is because it makes me go, what is that? Or laugh. I'm very polished and it kind of puts me in a box sometimes where his stuff, he just kind of throws everything at the wall and it works. I think that's why I love it so much. And I feel like the person who buys from him is married to the person who buys from me. Or at least that's what I'd like to think. The last second I picked up this kind of beveled cut glass mirror from his booth. It's $25. I'm trying to think of where I would put it, but I know I want it. It's aged and you can see kind of where the back of the mirror is falling away, but I don't mind that. I like that look. So I was walking by and I spotted this table for $198. Farmhouse table. And the crazy part is, is look, it's got the old newspapers on it that have been kind of sealed onto the top. Even this jug is really beautiful. 68. It's walking by and I spotted this. Brownsville, Texas yard photo. $100. I love it when they have horses in them or vehicles. It's always really cool. The mall's gonna be closing soon, so we need to run and look at Jane's booth. She's got multiple booths, but we're gonna look at one. One of Jane's many booths that she has here. Gift Horse Antiques is her business name. She's just got 
fabulous stuff too. She's kind of in a similar category as Mervel, where she can kind of just throw everything at the wall and it just works really well. This butcher block piece, they tend to be really expensive. Yeah, $8.50. And they're so heavy. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to move one of these before, but it is backbreaking. Here's another one of hers. Oh, look at that hound print. 2,200. Makes sense. <laughs> that is a really beautiful piece. So a little pricey, but that's the cost of beautiful art. Here's another one of Jane's. I'm telling you, she basically owns half of this place. Panels back there, is that what they are? Handmade cathedral doors, great wall piece for 350. Hold on, I just, I just spied something. Propping up right there, one second. Look at that. It's huge. So it says, Afghan rug, moth damage, could make great pillows out of it. And that's exactly what I would do. 50 bucks. I'm gonna take it home. And I understand it has moth damage, but I would use it for pillows. And normally what I do is I clean them very well first before I start doing the pillows. All right, we gotta go. Did you take this right there? Um, no. You want a bag? No. Thank no. you, though. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tomorrow, so. I won't be yeah. in here tomorrow, tomorrow either. Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks. Christmas honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody You give them a smile that lasts another year I am back home. Technically it's Christmas. I'm up late wrapping some last minute Christmas gifts. Vlogmas is done. It was a challenge for me. I did it because I, I really struggle with perfectionism when with social media and posting content and I wanted to try and kick that urge and I knew doing a video a day would force me to just make quick decisions and move on. Perfection is the killer of my productivity. So this was an experiment to see if I could just let that part of myself go. I appreciate all of you that have been watching since the beginning and the people that have found me in the past month and followed along. I hope you all enjoyed a vintage Vlogmas. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laden to the It is so cold. <laughs> now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. There's something <laughs> that happens when sleigh bells are ringing when you December is. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. So Vlogmas day five, day 11, day 12, day 18. With a sticky note, fight there. The hands. The hands. I don't know why I thought this was a coach. This is exactly what I'm looking for.
My phone died. <laughs> no! Vintage Vlogmas Day 25 Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, baby. and I'll see you soon. Bye.